everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California, on a gorgeous day. It's been a while since we visited. Um, <laughs> been busy around here. Good busy, but busy. If you're part of the Underpants Club and or if you're part of the channel that uh, Rob and I have together, uh, Rob and Lori Marie moved to Costa Rica, you kind of know what's going on with the purging and the uh, searching and all of the selling and everything that's going on. Uh, Rob is in Costa Rica right now. Uh, I am posting his little videos. He's sending videos. He left Thursday night. Um, he sent a video last night um, and I assume he'll send another video tonight and that's on the um, Costa Rica, the Lori Marie and, no, the Rob and Lori Marie uh, moved to Costa Rica YouTube channel. So if you're interested in following that, we will we post once a week for that, and we will continue to do that even after we relocate, so that you know what's going on. It's been really fun. Uh, we just for an update, uh, he'll be there for a couple of weeks, scouting, scouting out places. Um, he's in Rivas right now. He said it's beautiful. So that's exciting, and we will be relocating on June 1st, so that's coming up quickly. Um, walls are emptier than they were before. We still have lots to um, sell and or give away and or pack, so uh, lives remain full and exciting, very exciting. I'm, this is really exciting to have him there right now and to say, okay, I'm in this location and I'm at this waterfall and this waterfall is in the backyard of the Airbnb that we're staying at and yeah, it's very exciting. So uh, a little bit off topic there. Um, I am doing the Purge books and the Traveling Collage book kits. We'll call them a kit. Um, the traveling collage books are the smaller 3x4s and uh, they come with a packet of goodies that you put inside on the, on the pages. Uh, very full, uh, very fun. Those are $45. Uh, all you have to do is send me an email and I'll make sure that we get one of those to you. The junk journals are bigger books. Um, I, I will be starting a video later on today uh, with one of those. Susan asked me to show the entire process. So guess what? We're going to show the entire process. <laughs> Very fun. These are the names that I have that are still on the, um, on the waiting list, if you will. Uh, Virginia wants a traveling collage and a junk journal. Uh, Sandra uh, wants a traveling collage book. Uh, Elizabeth uh, would like some ephemera and focal points. Um, that's a little bit tougher because I'm using everything. So um, Elizabeth, get to me, get back to me. Susan uh, wants some papers from my stash. Elizabeth, if you would like papers from my stash, I can certainly do that. The ephemera is what I'm running low on. Uh, and um, Susan, yes, I can send you some papers from the stash. That would be fun. Uh, Mary, you, I think we're doing the traveling collage kit, the traveling collage book. I'm pretty sure that that's what we're doing. And Patty, Ann, and I are going to have a cuppa together when I am in Arizona. Um, I have to do a little bit of business up in Phoenix and then head down and see my son Jeremy and his family in Marana. So uh, Patty and I, Patty and, and I are going to get together for a cup of, so that's very exciting. All right, I'm going to show you a book today that I originally made for the Michigan workshop. Okay, segue. <laughs> segue. We are having a workshop in Michigan, South Haven, Michigan, April 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. I have posted that board book on YouTube uh, so that you can see what we're going to be doing uh, on April 22nd, 23rd, and 24th in South Haven, Michigan <laughs> at Cafe Julia. I'm so excited. 
Um, so there's a video on that book that we're going to be playing with. I started this board book um, thinking that I was going to teach this in Michigan. And it's, it's a bit serious for a workshop. Um, I don't know what was going on for me at that time, but the one that we're doing now in South Haven is very playful. Uh, this one is a bit more serious. So I will show you the uh, book where I got the images and I will show you the completed book and then take you through the process of the majority of it. Uh, it ends before the book is completely done, but I'll show you the book in the beginning so that uh, you can see what the finished book looks like. Okay, one more thing. <laughs> I am hosting on Zoom a UFOs and it is Unfinished Objects. And it is on Sunday, January 16th, from 10 until 2, uh, it's $25. There again, send me an email, I'll get y'all hooked up with that. It's where people are bringing unfinished art pieces of artwork, and we are all getting together, we're kind of a round table kind of a thing. We'll break up into smaller groups, we'll feed each other different ideas, uh, if we're stuck, uh, if we're just looking for encouragement. So I will be on the table uh, with you from 10 until 2, and then I'm going to break away from 2 until 3 and um, let the people on the table uh, still bounce back ideas, steal from one another, inspire one another, whatever it takes to get those objects finished or at least inspired to, uh, to get finished. So, January 16th, UFOs. Uh, once again, send me an email and or a comment. A comment is fine. And I will get back to you and get you all set up for that. So, we have, I don't know, seven people signed up for that now. And probably that many signed up for the Michigan uh, workshop too. So. Both of them are kind of limited in seating. In seating, the Michigan one definitely limited in seating. The UFOs is a little bit more flexible. So uh, I think that's it. Hope to see you in the Underpants Club. That's always fun. The Underpants Club and I are going to be making bread pudding within the next 24 hours with some very dried apricots. <laughs> Hoping they'll plump up in the bread pudding. Underpants, always fun. Uh, Co uh, Rob and Lori Marie moved to Costa Rica if you want to keep up on that. And of course, our YouTube channel that can always use a comment from you. Um, yeah, I think that's it. And on that note, see you on the table. Right, here is the Faces book that I had made originally for the um, Michigan workshop. This has already um, been purchased, so that's exciting. Uh, lots of cutouts. I'll try to, try to go through them. Oh, doorbell. All right, that was Patricia at the door. All right, so here's our first page. I uh, have cutouts in the pages. I will try and show you um, each one. I did collage the faces, which I love to do. So this is, uh, I think this and this are one piece, and then the face is another. This is gorgeous, so that is what is in there. This is a woman in um, a cloak with an eye here and a child there. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, fish, crown, bird, face, and another person here. This uh, completes it. So this is part of this, the original part. This is a cutout, of course. And then we take this over here, and now that young man has a hat, his face, a fun shirt, and this is the corner that was cut off here. This is not, is that her face? That's her face. Looks so great there. I thought that was her face for a moment. So this is not her face, little bird uh, in her hair. I think this is added on. So fun. This is the corner that's cut off that's glued over there, and that will fit back together here. Oh, this is a face with another piece of a face right there. This is this child with a flower over that eye. This comes across here. 
This is another face with another eye here. Oh, another face with that little boy from there. And then the final page puts that little girl back together there. So we'll go through that again because it is kind of complicated. Window, face, collage, window. This is the face that was put on that part that was raised up. Cut corner, glued there. Fish, face, different body. This is a complete face there. This transitions into a different face, corner glued on. This transitioned into a different face. This is an add-on. That might, I think that's his original eye. That's an eye from his original face. This was part face here, part face here, flower for an eye. Or maybe that is, oh, I bet that's, that eye's from here, I bet. I bet that's where that's from. So this is a, an add-on eye from another face. So this is a face here blending together making one face and then coming together in the little girl's face in the back. So a book of faces. So fun. And like I say this book has already been purchased. I will be taking this book to Michigan with me uh, and uh, delivering it to its new forever home. Alright, thanks for walking through that with me. Uh, lots going on in that book. Um, pretty serious. Oh, I want to show you where I got the images. This is uh, Steve McCurry's book. This is a pretty famous photograph there. And it's uh, all these gorgeous faces. Uh, my niece Victoria gave that to Rob. Uh, this will be going with us. And some gorgeous faces uh, that can be used in collage. All right, enough of that. Your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun. All right, I am so excited to get started in our little board book. So I love using old book pages. I don't love the white edges though. <laughs> I prefer to rip the pages uh, because I think that they glue down much easier with the beveled edge, the rough edge, uh, rather than a cut edge. So I bring in a ruler and I tear off the white edges. We are going to be working on, like I say, a 5x5 five five page. So it's a fairly small page. And in order to get some fun texture, we're going to use small underpants. There we go. Now to make sure that the underpants are going to stick to these pages, these pages have a little bit of a shine to them, so I'm going to bring in sandpaper and scuff up the pages a little bit. Alright, I've taken the shine off front and back and now we're going to start putting Now we're going to strengthen the binding. So we'll go through the book, uh, not here, here, not here, here, and not here. All right, so we have marked one gutter and two gutters. We are going to strengthen two gutters in the book. What happens is this spine pulls away and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that spine in to keep the book nice and strong. 
All right, so I'll bring my all in on the page that we marked, and I will make a hole through the page, through the gutter, into the spine. One, two, and three. I will go to the next page that we put a dot on and I will make three holes but not in the same place. Alright, so we'll go up one in between those holes two and three. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, and six holes. Okay. I'm gonna bring in, all right, I have some binding twine. I'll go two lengths of the book spine, okay? A little bit more. And a needle. Thread that needle. It doesn't. In the center hole. Out either the top or the bottom, doesn't matter which. Leave a tail, and that's what you're going to tie off. Go to either the top or the bottom, whichever one's left. And then back out the center. Now we need to make sure that there's twine on one side of that and twine on the other side of that. That's what holds everything in place. Nice and tight. Make sure it's tight on the inside. Lovely. You can add beads to this. You can leave it long for now. Cut it short. Whatever. Add beads. Add a bottle. I'm going to cut mine so it's not in the way. All right, we will bring in, that was a good amount. One, two, and a little bit. Thread your second needle. You'll go into the first line of holes that you created. through the center, out through the top or the bottom, doesn't matter which. Leave a tail, go to whichever hole is left. Out through the center. everything tight. Make sure there's twine on either side of that center spine. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Okay, everybody's nice and tight, reinforced. 
reinforced. And ta-da! Putting underpants on. The front, the back, and every single page. I'm going to put it on the edge like that so that I can go around the spine a little bit as well. I put my underpants on pretty darn straight. And that is Artist's Choice. Mod Podge, underpants, let's cover the front and the back. Alright, I have the front done. You can certainly wait for that to dry. <laughs> I'm bringing in my heat gun and I'm going to dry it. All right, when the front is dry, I will flip it over and put underpants on the back, working that around the spine. and cover the back with underpants and dry. All right, we have underpants on the front and on the back. I'm going to dry this and continue on covering the complete two pages, two pages, two pages, two pages, two pages with underpants. Okay, I have underpants on all of the pages. This is not dry in here. This page is not dry. doesn't matter. I'm going to go in and uh, Paint a little bit of gesso on the pages. Building another layer. I still want to be able to see the underpants. So don't go so heavy with the gesso that you cover your underpants and can't see them. All right, let it dry. All right, everything's dry. This one is not, so I'm gonna give, the, give it just a little bit longer before I do the binding. So while that area dries, I am gonna bring in bits and bobs of this's and that's that are right here on my table that are very, very fun, and add these to the book uh, pages. Anything that I have, I would not put the whole thing on. I would uh, rip it and put it like that on the book and then uh, maybe something up over here. So go forward. Um, oh, here's a little guy. That could be fun up in the corner there. So with my Mod Podge, I'm going to go through and tear and rip and glue things like that. That would be fun on a page. Um, something like that on a page. So go forward and put a couple of things. We'll say a couple of things. Here's a fun map. Something like that on a page. Okay, so decorate each page.